The procedure itself involves very careful dissection of the rectum and its surrounding tissues um, in order to provide a proper cancer operation right down to the pelvic floor and occasionally even into the upper portion of the sphincter muscle in order to obtain an adequate margin. People who are candidates for this procedure have a cancer that is low in the rectum but doesn't actually invade the sphincter uh, and who have reasonably good control of their sphincter muscle. They're are some patients who are not candidates for this. They may have tumor invading the sphincter and even with preoperative chemoradiation, the tumor may not shrink enough to allow us to hook things back together again because it's still into the sphincter. Occasionally, but not very often, we find an individual who already has very poor control of their bowel habit and the combination of radiation plus very low surgery would leave them incontinent and we have a very frank discussion with that patient as they may actually benefit from a permanent colostomy in terms of quality of life. However, the vast majority of the people we see, we are able to hook things back together again and avoid that permanent colostomy.